Honestly, I don't let people make up my mind for me anymore. And I used to. I'm guilty of it. I've come so far my, in my own journey, in my own search for the truth, in my own search for who I want to be. Why am I on this planet? What am I doing here? What can I do to better myself and to better others? And I don't listen to other people that get my, my thinking. I've done that long enough. But when I tune in to others and I hear what they're saying and I see how hyped up they are, I see how this just, it just breaks my heart. And I guess that still shows some of the conditioning that I have in me, the programming that I have in me, because people are, a large people just want to follow. A large amount of people just want to follow. But I believe ultimately, and I, I believe this, I, I, people have the ability to be leaders, but it takes breaking the chains, those invisible chains that are around your head. You got to break them. Everybody has the, the potential to be a leader. Everybody has the potential to be great. And today it's just harder and harder. They're making it harder and harder for us to be individuals. You're either with us or you're with the terrorists. Out of many, we are one. You didn't build that. Somebody else built that for you. See these, see these things that are being told to us? And see what the poor people who I try not to judge them because I, I, they don't know what they're doing. But see what they're being told. See what they're being told in school and the society and the boob tube idiot box and our elected representatives are telling them collectivism. Sacrifice yourself. The good of the many outweighs the needs of the one. Right? Even Star Trek throws collectivism in there. Is it any coincidence that the main logo for Starfleet and Captain Kirk flying around is the same flag that is the United Nations? I don't think so. Militarized space, that's a good thing, right? It'd be military, it's happy and jolly. I don't know, just maybe a little predictive programming for the future. I'm just saying, we have collectivism being told to us from every single angle. And it's just really hard. You know, I refer back to Matthew, my buddy who was in the campaign for liberty, diehard Ron Paul supporter. I admire him so much for everything that he's done to try to wake up people around him and his area out there in Olympia, uh, just putting an hour after hour, just volunteering, trying to take the Republican Party back. So much work being put involved. And I, when I moved and got away from it after I saw what happened with Ron Paul, I just, you know what, I'm not wasting my time doing this. I just really, it's, it's getting me away from the bigger, broader picture that our country is going to change forever. And it's soon, like it, day by day, we're getting closer and closer and closer to that happening. It's getting me away from preparing and from appreciating life and not trying to go shake other people to get off their couch and stop eating GMO and come do a rally or come vote or something. They're, they don't want to do it. They're not going to do it. But they'll, we, once again, and there it is, the quote, my favorite thing again, we will all be held accountable for our active or passive participation, all of us. And the more that you stop participating now, the more that you live your own life trying to be the best that you can be, stop paying attention to them. We know that they're trying to get a war in the Middle East going. We know that there's been writing since the 1800s that the elite are going to orchestrate three world wars. And they hit the first two right on the head how they would happen. We know that. If you don't have anybody in the military, if you don't have any friends or family in the military, if you've convinced a friend or two to say maybe, hey, you might want to double think that or you might want to think about that one more time before you go. If no one you know is involved with that, until they start coming over here bombing us, that shouldn't affect you. And the caller at the top of the hour, he talked about they're going to destroy us and then let third world nations come in here and rape us and pillage us. <laughs> that, to me, is too speculative. I mean, we're going through a lot. We're going through the five stages of grief with our entire society. We're going through a dollar collapse. We're going through massive die-off pain. Uh, and to say that other countries are going to come in, I don't know. That's just too much for me. There's nothing that you can do about that right now, and there's nothing that I can do about that right now. So why flip out about it and scare people or sit up here and pound my chest and talk about how I don't want it to happen and not me and my future? And It's not going to do any good. The truth is love is the only truth. Everything else, everything else is illusion. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Who controls you? Do you own yourself? Be the change that you want to see. Give charity. Now, I have one last quick article here, and I'm going to read this pledge. And I would ask that you guys go. You guys can go to don't-tread-on.me and check it out. I reposted it on the Sound of Freedom, 1776.wordpress.com, my free blog. 
stop provoking. It's good stuff, right? Now, Chris Duane is also not a fan of state secession. He's not a fan of the state secession movement either. I've taken so many notes from the Sons of Liberty Academy. You guys know I bring a lot of the material to the show. And uh, it shouldn't surprise you, but he starts the article off saying that the Americans will always do the right thing after they have exhausted all the alternatives. A quote from Winston Churchill. And uh, Chris goes on to say, Mr. Duane goes on to say here that I am all for state nullification and the right for states to succeed. But as a cause for me to truly get behind, the solution has to be of the opposite consciousness. The story is only a day old or so, but let me come out and say nothing will come of it except thousands of well-intentioned people that will work incredibly hard only to be let down so close to their goal. I mean, isn't this the sad story of every collectivist effort to change since the 1960s and even longer than that? The speed and coordination of all these state secessionist movements and now the counter movement calling all these people unpatriotic and to be expelled from the country stinks to high heaven of another elitist Hegelian dialectic, especially with Rick Perry involved, the Bilderberger himself, another controlled steam release valve that will not materially change anything. Another distracting divide and conquer issue that does not strike at the root of the problem. You. Instead of joining one more group, walking one more march, giving to one more money bomb, sending one more breathless email about how important this issue is, do me a favor. Go to the mirror and say to yourself. This is the pledge, folks, and I'm going to say it right now. I, Ryan Brooks, will take responsibility, personal responsibility, for my thoughts, relationships, assets, and path in my life. I will stop pushing my ideas on what other people should do with theirs. I will be the change that I want to see in the world by walking away from the debt and death paradigm I actively or passively empower. I will stop funding bankers with my dollars in their banks and paper schemes. I will stop watching all media propaganda. I will never, ever vote for the lesser of two evils. I will stop being a consumer and buying junk I don't need. I will stop eating the standard American diet. I will stop wasting time with collectivist groups that sell a dream to me only to get me to sacrifice my energy to support a few at the top. I realize that all of my problems start and stop with me. No one is coming to save me. I must realize the power that I have inside of me to take positive, productive action to empower myself with all of the energies I once gave away. I will stop emotionally worrying that about things that are outside of my control and start logically focusing on the only thing that is truly in my control, me. I will measure wealth in real things that I can touch and that provide real tangible value to me. I will use the logic of the trivium to free me from all future manipulation of my thoughts and actions. I will vote only for me and my thoughts and actions before I can be a blessing onto others. I will embrace an abundance mentality and never entertain toxic thoughts of scarcity or fear ever again i will take control of my diet and eat things my ancestors would recognize as food i cannot change the outside world to make myself happy or free i must change myself to make the world happy and free the only happiness i will find in this life is the day that i rid myself of the scarcity mentality where i can give to those around me without reservation and to be truly a blessing on to others the only other happiness i will find in my life is helping to bring others in my life to the same level of abundance. This is the only thing that truly matters in life and worth my attention and energy. No one can stop me from this. And I alone can make this happen. What do you think, folks? Stop being a consumer. Stop eating the GMO, eating old school food that our ancestors would recognize. recognize. Using the trivium to to see the manipulation that so many people in our media use stop watching all media propaganda get your money out defund the bankers now if enough people hooked onto that and figured it out real change will come because they cannot operate without us empowering them With that being said, folks, I had a great time doing the broadcast with you tonight. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night. It's going to be a very exciting show. We have Rosa Corey on from Behind Green Mask, exposing Agenda 21. She's going to break it down. You guys can put your questions in the chat room. We'll even have time to take some calls, hopefully. But Rosa Cora 
excuse me, Rosa Corey tomorrow on the Sound of Freedom, Agenda 21 special. And then on Monday, we'll have Mr. Chris Duane, the founder of the Sons of Liberty Academy and the founder of don't-tread-on.me on the broadcast on Monday for the full two hours to take your questions. It'll be a very interesting show to say the least. Folks, remember, all of your problems start and stop with you. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you stay tuned because Ken is up next. Special edition Information Nation. My name is Ryan Brooks, the Sound of Freedom, signing off. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for listening to the Sound of Freedom with Ryan Brooks.